Okay. All right. These last four years fighting this conspiracy case have been extremely challenging and yet I wouldn't change a single thing about any of it. I've learned she wouldn't change a thing about anything when she sat there and degraded a person and made up lies and she would not change anything. Conspiracy theory? How's the conspiracy and she actually did it and she actually was proven in court that she did it and what she said. But now you trying to make a trying to make it a black thing? Please. And so much. Every moment was incredibly powerful and insightful. The verdict handed down on Monday was no shock to myself, my husband, or my legal team. We are prepared and we were prepared for this challenge from the beginning. Prepare for the worst, as we said. We called bluff against a machine that wanted to bully me for not wavering from my personal beliefs. A machine that has corporate interests to protect prostitutes. She said call bluff. So she basically called them bluff right now. She wasn't calling no bluff in court. She's calling it right now. She felt that she can say anything she want about anybody she want. Make up any lies about anybody. And then she want to throw up and make it like it's a machine. Really? No, it ain't a goddamn machine. Because rap, R&B, and all that is nothing but entertainment if anyone have young kids just like when i was young my grandma did not let me and my parents did not let me watch it tuition drug use promiscuity and to glorify the violence that wrecks havoc on our society and in our neighborhoods and to glorify it's sold to our children as the it factor. This machine, this thing, secured an extremely prejudicial verdict against myself and my company solely off of sympathy and payola. Asking me to redact the real reason as to why I was reporting on the issues at hand and succeeded in making me out to be an angry and malicious woman. This is a real business. I am a wife of se You are a malicious person. Look what you did to Jarrah White. Look what you said about Tokyo Tony. Really, but you're going to make it like it's a race thing. But then we're black women. And so many other black men, you made up some shit on them. See, the, what it is, is since you like to run your mouth and you like to do that, and then you're mad, and you're just going to try to use these other cards. No, you cannot do that. Because these other black people are going to come forward and fucking see your ass too for the shit you said. And then your channel going to really be gone. Our card going to come back and make sure you lose your goddamn channel. 17 years, a mother to a beautiful 15-year-old girl who's an honor student and a two-year-old son. My platform creates news and sheds light on the issues going on in our society. My First Amendment right poses a threat to the machine's sole intention to mislead the public with caricatures built on violence, selling sex, and images of a denounced stereotype. Look at Chicago and L.A. and various other cities that can't even sit in their own living room and braid their kids' hair without worrying about bullets flying through and killing their children. How are you going to bring them other places up as that? But yet they have people claiming they are rich like you that is black that's making problems in the world. It's people like you and other people that are in a higher stating where they can actually give back. Have you gave back? No, you haven't gave back. Because you don't care about black people. You just pretend you care about them. 
for their money, clicks, and views. My First Amendment right was painted to the public and courts as a bully, vile, and malicious towards a machine that glorifies a lifestyle meant to serve as modern day genocide on our people. A mach no, I know you ain't going there. Genocide? How many females you sit there and talked about which were black you talked about doing fucked up shit to? Jaguar White is one of them. LR, Lovely T. What did you say about her? You call her a damn crackhead and shit. You say things way worse but your own kind. You say some of the fucked up things. Don't let me get started on what I heard you say about the damn black community. About fucking um, that guy that happened to be, what, gay? And so you want to say the foul things you said about him and his mother? Scheme that clearly influences our children on how to kill, sell their bodies, and more. You can't bully someone or something that takes pride in painting our children and teaching our children to be degenerates. And if you are a public figure that pushes this image and this lifestyle for likes and views and a way to make money in our society, then I and we have the duty to exercise our First Amendment right as traditional media and new age digital media analysts to say, no, this ain't it. This is not defamation or invasion of privacy when these machines have pushed this lifestyle on us for profit. This ain't about $4 million. Yeah, it is. And this motherfucker right here, it wrote this down. Her fucking people allow her to get on the screen and talk even more. That's why everyone else that you don't talk about, they need to come forward and go ahead and go ahead still a little bit of the money you got left. Because you're just doing too much. This machine never wanted my money. They wanted to shut down my company in order to protect their assets that glorify this reckless and dangerous lifestyle pushed on us and our children. It was about someone demanding that I respect and give respect to something that has never earned my respect. This is about changing the trajectory of how things have been done. In it's a darn shame. She's talking about that, but yet she says she won't even do a video on Tommy Sotomayor. You want to know why she won't do a video on Tommy Sotomayor? Because she's just like him. But she's 20 times worse because the things that she said about black women is certain black women ones with her friends and stuff like that. That that's the type of woman she is. But people want to follow her. People want to fucking um, glorify her. Uh uh, no. Hollywood for over a century. There are no more gatekeepers. No more red tape. No more waiting to be picked and told what you have to do. If we simply believe in ourselves and our God-given right to live our lives purposeful and don't allow our gifts to die with us, we all hold the key to change. New age digital media such as myself and traditional media, we exercise our First Amendment right to publish our opinions and facts concerning these caricatures of stereotypes pushed in our homes and into our society. And we are just supposed to accept it. What happened to this woman while she was little? Because she's messed up in the head. Seriously, she's really messed up in the head. I done seen her say something that's vile, nasty, sick stuff. They don't make no sense. All these YouTube make on you. It's so much vile, sick stuff that you have said in your thought process of how you think why a guy is gay what you said about that man's mother and saying that's why he got two last names because he didn't know who his father was that is this nasty and that is this sick that's malicious that's trashy that is this wrong 
on so many leather levels it's wrong on so many fucking levels that you just keep on running your mouth and you know what this most likely will be the last video i'll make on you but guess what karma is a bitch karma's a real bitch because you are a disgrace just like tommy is you are a disgrace to the universe you're a disgrace to the world, you're a disgrace to YouTube. And this one kiss right here, they need to fucking take you off the fucking internet. They need to go ahead and push the envelope more and make sure you can't be on no platform anywhere, anything to talk to anyone. They need to go ahead and do that to Tommy too. Well, I just seen something here somebody did and Damn, he wasn't even fucking saying that, 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 that he used to say. He was acting as respectful. I'm like, damn. What happened to him, I guess, getting his channel cut off too many times? But I guess it's your turn to learn that lesson. Because there's money on the table? No. Absolutely not. This case was meant to drain me financially, and it did not. And send a message to anyone who thinks they have the right to challenge a machine that protects their corporate interests. We knew this case. We knew why this case didn't go our way. Our First Amendment right was intentionally hindered from the moment the case was filed. My company and I have built a platform that has been stamped over and over by traditional media and most importantly, my viewers, you all. I have broken hundreds of stories on this platform from the moment I started recording videos in my guest bedroom back in 2015 while working at Seasons 52 as a server. I know y'all maybe think this is over, but no, this is just the beginning. I will spend as many years as I can to protect our right to voice our opinions and facts on these images that are sold and pushed on us. The appeal process has already started and we intend to expose every conspiracy against me, my company, and my family. I was supposed to be destroyed a long time ago, but it did not happen. I am still here. We are still here. This machine tried to squeeze us for everything, but God said otherwise and blessed us with much, much more. We have built this platform video by video from my... You know, I cuss a lot. But I don't cuss like her. She cuss worse than a seller. With that being said, the nasty, vile things she have said, not even... Not, I haven't even seen the videos. I've seen snippets of videos that she said about Cardi. I'm talking about... It's a lot of men and women, black men and women, that she had talked about like a fucking dog. But she's trying to make it about race and other things. But wasn't she friends with fucking Nicki Minaj? But she now she's trying to say, oh, nah, mm -mm. get out of here with that. Get out of here with that. I guess bedroom back in 2015, coupled with the best and most creative eyes and hands in production, my husband, my backbone. And he is the only man that encouraged me to fight this case from the beginning. My case will set a precedent for all future. Oh my God. Lord, it's going to strike you down dead. Didn't your husband throw you under the bus? Well, man, you better stop getting on here lying because you're going to get striped down by God or whoever anyone God is. But think about it. The media, and we intend to fight until the truth is out. There was no defamation, no invasion of privacy. And suicidal thoughts, and we proved that with sufficient factual evidence. In court, my lawyers taught me about preserving the record so that it's noted for the future. 
Well, this is me right now preserving the record. We will fight no matter the cost or length, even if this takes years. I spent 11 years building this platform to serve as a leader in media. Media is a power fighting machines with endless money protecting their investments. My husband has spent over 20 years working in production. We have over 1 million viewers and hundreds of millions of viewers and most who have been with us since the very beginning. I love y'all so She only got them views because of the fact that the certain type of celebrity she talks about. The certain type of celebrity she talks about. And on top of that, her talking about the celebrities, talking about, oh, some kind of, um, selling some kind of product and seeing Cardi name in it. That's the only reason she got one million because she had, every time you turn around, she says some messed up things about people and then they turn around and they leave her channel. So... She had to sit there and go find the most scandal, to, just the most shocking things that anyone would say to keep people coming to her channel because there's a lot of sick, demented, crazy, angry black women to go to her channel. But oh, oh, she's doing it. Call herself doing it. She's looking at that paper so she won't cuss. She trying to be all proper and act like with her head up and, and this and that and other. But before when you started the beginning, you had your head down, breathing hard, like you got issues. So much for that. Y'all built me. And y'all are the only ones who can take away the viewers. I show my gratitude and appreciation by fighting for this priceless gift. You have gifted my family and me and the right to exercise our freedom of speech as human beings. Kiwi Studios is a household name. Unwind with Tasha K. It's just one of the subsidiaries and we intend to Unwind with Tasha K. All of her followers. You have to be ashamed of yourself. You know the thing? You need to stop Follow her. Put the wine glasses down. Stop smoking whatever the fuck you're smoking. Quit it because something ain't too right with your fucking brain. Well, you will keep listening to this woman right here. You end up in jail because you probably don't have that much money like she do because she fucking insane as hell. So you might want to go the other way than trying to follow behind a person like her. Break out many more. Although the court hasn't instructed us to take the videos down, I've always said that I would comply with any court or jury. The videos have been taken down to show good faith to the courts because I respect the courts. We respect the courts. This machine has tried to have me arrested, threatened my life, and created a fake narrative about me. And I want you to ask yourself this. Why does the federal government subpoena my work on this channel if it's fake news? Why do state police departments request my videos for their cases? Why do media sites all over the world quote my work, our work? I want better for this, for us, and I live that better. Everything I represent, marriage, two-parent household, and working for every dime I make without harming the next person to get there. I create videos and... You create without trying to harm the next person. What did you do to Jarrah White? But you didn't harm anybody. Damn, didn't you just do something to Storm Moreau? Didn't you just do something to Chelsea in Vaughn? Didn't you put their information out there? Look what you said about Stone Road. You know what? You'll be doing some off the wall stuff. And all that shit's going to come out. All of it. Hey, everyone has seen this. If you know somebody that she wrong totally since she's trying to make the black card and about the machine and all that stuff, anybody she wrong, 
They got money. Sue her ass. Because she's trying to make it like everything was a lie. And it's just a damn... It's just something that... Oh, they just lying on me because they hate her. Because she doing something. She ain't doing all the spiritual things. And then the whole court thing was not even so spiritual. They picked people that didn't even listen to rap. Or a fan of Cardi B. So, what the hell? Do you make any sense? Including humor? Or the all the names you called her. For what? What for? That ain't have nothing to do with her music. Just a lot of stuff you said did not even have nothing to do with that. And truth to take us out of depression. And get our minds off of sickness and financial burdens. And no machine will ever stop me. I get your emails daily encouraging me to keep going. And I love y'all so much for that. For accepting me as me. This trial was purely sympathy and payola to protect corporate interests. And we intend to take this all the way to the Supreme Court if need be. This is my life, and I will spend my life fighting for my livelihood in our First Amendment right as human beings. Dozens of major media outlets, the New York Times, Associated Press, Billboard, etc., have requested comments. And I've asked my lawyers to inform you all on our appeal process every step of the way. And I want to thank the winos. And before I go, I saw that there were a few fundraisers that were started under my name. We did not. Y'all done lost your fucking mind. You just put the wine glasses down and not put them up ever again because that means you are alcoholic. I ain't never seen anybody just drink that much as this woman drink. All her pictures, she always got a wine glass. Them are the pictures she took. When she first started drinking it that day. So, it's like every day. How many times a day do you drink? How do you, how many days of the week do you drink? And how much do you drink? You people go to AA because of that. But you're encouraging women to drink. What the hell? Something wrong with you, woman. Create those. Nor do we need those. And nor will we ever create a fundraiser. For anything. And with that being said, I want you guys to report them if you see them. We have reported a few, but obviously dozens are popping up to scam under our company. Signing off, Winos, we will be back. <clears throat> we will be back serving exclusive wine this Friday. And with that being said, now I got to go. Bye. That is a load of fucking shit. She probably know I'm doing that shit, but that's a load of fucking shit. If y'all don't fucking get this woman off the goddamn internet, y'all need to be slapped. This bitch need to be fucking off the internet. This bitch, oh, nobody need to see her on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, fucking um, nothing. Nothing get a fucking off. Not even tag. Not tag. Not. They shouldn't even have her ass on dating sites. They don't need to have her on shit. This woman is fucking insane. See, she a broke. See, you could, anyone, can't y'all tell she's a broken woman? I don't know what the fuck happened in her childhood, but something serious fucking wrong with her. I do not know what the fuck is wrong with her, but she... Got some issues. She got some bottled up things. She got hatred towards everybody. She got hatred towards light skin. She got hatred towards white people. She got hatred towards gays, trainees, and all that. So if any of y'all are friends, her friend, look what she said about these other people. And if she have gays or uh, trainees or friends, that's some fucked up shit. And if y'all are still watching her, fans of her, y'all don't need to be. Because... You see what she said about them? What did she say when she get mad at you? You make a man a comment that she don't like. Anyways, sign it off. If y'all listen to this crazy crack pack head, this woman is fucking crazy. 
So she just said, basically, she's going to keep doing it even after she just went to fucking court for it. And after any judge fucking side to fucking let this motherfucker even peel, that need to be thrown out of fucking court because you know what? That's some fucked up shit. Fucked up. Uh-uh. Hell no. Nah.